plain sneaky scumbags. Yes, and I've come to give it back to you. But I said you could keep it for saving my life. A and I mean what I say. Oh, I believe you. But the way you keep humming the tune from this music box, it seems you'd be happier if you had it back. So, it would have a better home with you than with me. Well, maybe. I have had it forever. Thank you, Aiden. You're welcome, my lady. Wanted to talk to me? You know, Pilgrim, I'm not a very godly man. But it was not always so. Do you know the biblical story of Daniel and the lions? No, I don't. Why don't you tell me? So, Daniel was a godly man. Prayed three times a day. Never skipped a prayer. Even when his king forbade his subjects to pray to anyone other than himself. Daniel didn't change his ways. So he was sentenced to be thrown into a lion's den. And you don't get out of a lion's den in one piece. Yet, after a whole night, the accusers looked into the den and saw that Daniel was alive and well. Not because he killed all the lions, not because he escaped, no. His god sent an angel to close the lion's jaws. So Daniel was saved. Having witnessed the true power of Daniel's god, the king ordered that the accusers be thrown into the den, and their wives and children. Is this a metaphor? The PK are the lions, right? Yes. But the big question is, what does God stand for here? I'd say justice. I'd say so too. But why are you telling me this? Because I know that Sophie, my right hand, is currently plotting against the PK. She wants to kill the lions. How do you know that? Because I was granted the gift of observation. And because I know her. And because she's not very secretive about it. The truth is, I'm worried about her. She's a good heart, but she's hot-tempered and won't listen to me anymore. But maybe she'll listen to you. And what do you want me to say to her? Don't provoke the lions. Justice will come to us eventually. If, however, she leads us into the lion's den. There will be no angel to help us. We will all die. Us, our loved ones, everyone. The PK will devour us. Now, I get that you're afraid, but Sophie's her own person. She'll do what she thinks is right. <sighs> That's probably true. I can't make anybody do anything against their will. That's a tyrant's way, not a leader's. Maybe I should focus on what I can do not on what others should do. Thank you for this conversation, Aiden. It was quite illuminating. This is what happens when you bargain with bandits. You can try planting the seeds, but the perennials will be better. Someone's stealing the water. Nobody's doing anything about it. Shut up, Marvin. Think you'll make it to next season? I'll be fine. Taller than I thought.
Sophie, Jack and Joe are in the tower. They're gonna blow it up. Dear God. If they do, we will have no water source. Come on, Aiden. The tower is mined. Try to disarm the charges. safe. Made 
it after all. Either the bizarre jack holes or the PK. They'll be on us the moment we come down from here, buddy. Fuck, we lost it, man. We lost it. We can't fight everything. That's why it's time for fireworks. Nobody's getting out alive. Joe, I don't want to die, you asshole. Hey, who's there? Stop, or we'll blow the goddamn tower, I swear. I found the bombs. Let's talk. The time for talking is over. We're gonna fuck this place up. You're not listening. You're done. I want it to be over. And to leave the city safely. I help me, and I'll help you. You're fooling yourself, Jack. Nobody's letting us out of here alive. Look, I am a pilgrim. Let's just blow it up already. I dare you. I know you won't do it. Don't listen to him, Jack. It's over. Fuck it up! I don't know. I'm scared. Joe, wait. Joe, hey, isn't that the pilgrim who showed up at the bazaar recently? Maybe. Pilgrim or Pope. So what? Don't you get it? If he's a pilgrim, he can get us out. Lead us out of the city to someplace safe. I don't trust that fucker. You don't trust anyone! I told you to play nice with Barney when we had the chance! Fucking listen to me for once! Well, play nice with Barney? What for? To make him get the fuck out of the bazaar! After what we found out from the peacekeepers. We tipped off the fucker, gave him a chance to run. But he thought he was too clever for that. They warned Barney. About what? Well, about Luke is wanting to take him in on weapons charges, among others. But set a trap for him for weeks. And instead of politely getting the fuck out of here, he tried to play cute instead. So, Barney knew Lucas was after him. The moron wanted to start a war in all Villador. And you ask me, war's the last thing we need. Money, crystals, that's a different story. That's why I tried to put an end to that rabbit dog and his sister. So, Pilgrim, will you get us out of the city or what? Calm down, Joe. I won't fucking calm down. Get us out of the city, Pilgrim. To the nearest safe settlement. And no one will die here. I don't bargain with extortionists and murderers. Well now, look at the saint. The Pilgrim wants to preach to us. Oh, you fucking fool. Do it, Jack. Now! Goodbye, Bizarre. What? What happened? Your toys don't work? You... you did this? You pay for that. The water... So what now, Aiden? Smart guy. Who gets control of the water?
Hack on. Hey then, where the fuck are you? Sometimes I stay out too long. Barney knew Lucas was trying to capture him. Jack and Joe warned him. He could have avoided the trap, but he went into it anyway. That's when Lucas was killed. Maybe we should I'm check out Barney's hideout at the Hotel Tango. I'll make sure the place is safe. You can go search Barney's stuff. Coast is clear now. I'm fast as lightning. Hello, lightning. Yo, what's up? So you've heard about me? Sure, who hasn't? Yeah, I'm a fucking legend. What are they saying? Any hot chicks asking about me? Oh man, plenty. All dreaming to meet the legend. Ha <laughs> ha, that's my life. What can I say? Providing the fastest water delivery on the rooftops gives you celebrity status. I have also the most diverse selection. Still water, sparkling water, lavender flavor, honey flavor, even urtica flavor. Wait, wait, what? Urtica flavor? Who knows? But it sounds intriguing, right? It's called marketing. People drink it up. Doesn't matter what it is, but if it sounds fresh and different, they want it. So, did you come here to challenge me? To get your ass kicked by fabulous Sadio? Well, I know I have no chance, but to be defeated by you would be an honor. Darn right it would, men. So, when you're ready, take these bottles for a brisk run. Just try not to break your legs. are about to attack.
No way. I mean, no fucking way. How did you do that? Did you cheat? No, I'm just faster. So no more Sadio the Lightning for you. This ain't over. I'll keep practicing. And so should you. See you around the water tower, Paul. Normally I like a cat fight, but bloody hell. Can you believe just yesterday those two were best friends? What happened? Last night someone stole Teresa's flower. All of it. A major harvest too. She could have made a killing. Without it, she got nothing. No flower, no sales, no money. She and her son won't last another month without the income. Oh, she must be desperate to blame her best friend. Ex-best friend. But it's just an accusation. It's not like she's got any evidence. She's a bit hot-headed, that's for sure. But you'd have to ask her yourself. You think she needs help? Teresa? Why? Looking to earn some cash? What? That's not why I... You're a pilgrim, aren't you? You guys don't do anything for free. How much do they fork over for the water? She'll be near a shop. Well, thanks for the tip. Pilgrim should be you declared like a saint. Or at least the new leader of the bazaar. Anyone would be better than Carl. Yeah, you're probably right. Good morning, Pilgrim. Have I already thanked you for... for the water? I hear you were robbed. By my best friend, no less. I'm devastated, really. And why on earth would you jump to that conclusion about your best friend? I didn't want to, but who else could it be? She was storing it for me, to keep it safe, she said. And now, it's conveniently gone. Me and my boy are left with nothing. If only she'd admit it and return the flower, I'd forgive her, I swear I would. Lord is my witness, if she's in trouble, I'll help her. 
but she's a stubborn one. We've had quite a harvest too. Wouldn't have had us living on Easy Street, but now, now we'll starve. How did Anna explain the disappearance of the flower? Theft, not a disappearance. And she didn't explain anything. She's lying through her teeth. How do you know? See it in her eyes. It's a lie. I look back and realize Anna's been a liar all along. Do you have any proof that Anna did this? Not exactly, but was in her shed, wasn't it? In here, I thought she was doing me a favor offering to store it. Turns out, she was just making it easier for her to screw over me and my boy. <sighs> Talk to her, would you? She won't listen to me. Maybe a stranger could get around her stubbornness. We can put this behind us if she gives it back. And if she stole it because she was hungry, she can keep what she needs. Her shed's near the water tower. Please, go talk to her. I'll think about it. A friend in need is a friend indeed. I wish I could break free. And they say pilgrims are thieves and swindlers. Looks like this one is different. Hey, Anna? Anna? I just want to talk. Go away! Talk to me and I'll go away. It won't take long. Look, I know Teresa sent you. Fuck her. And fuck you. kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. Watch yourself, you hear? Please, talk. I'd like to help. Help what? Remind me of my poverty? My drinking problem? Or that I'm a heinous flower thief? I'm not making assumptions. I just want to hear your story. I want to hear the truth. The truth? You want the truth? Here's the truth. I would never rob a friend. Never. And that's the end of my story. Did Teresa tell you about the half year's wages she owes me? I needed Teresa to sell that flower so she could pay me. Why would I risk everything? My well-being, Teresa, and her sons, by stealing it. I thought you were best friends. So did I. Until today. Since the fall, we've been close. I lost my child. She lost her husband. I... I became very depressed. Suicidal. Teresa got me through it. She even cooked for me and my husband, who drank heavily. I can't believe she'd accuse me of this. She'd mentioned you were storing the flower. I figured it was the best way to keep watch over it, and make sure I got paid. So we put it in my shed, near the tower. I went to check on it this morning, and... nothing. All gone. You didn't see anyone lurking nearby, or anything suspicious? You don't think I would have mentioned that by now? I can only tell you that I did not steal that flower. I wouldn't do that to Teresa, or to myself. The only strange thing was that nothing else was stolen. My buckwheat, my beets, untouched. Whoever it was only wanted the flower. Interesting. Mind if I go check out the shed? Maybe it just needs to be looked at with a fresh pair of eyes. Knock yourself out. People this close shouldn't hurt each other. Unlocked. Somebody must have had keys. 
Nothing's broken. Someone was very familiar with this place. And footprints. One set of shoes. Thief worked alone. The rest of the supplies are untouched. They knew exactly what they were looking for. Flower trail on the ground. Bags dragged this way. Who had the keys to the shed? Me and my husband. Nobody else? You sure? There's no sign of forced entry, Anna. Whoever took the flower had the keys. Or made copies. So you do think it was me? Calm down and think. Who else would do this and why? Help me help you. Unless Teresa's right after all. Hard to tell. Someone from the bazaar, perhaps? There's Dodger. That guy's capable of anything. And then there's Benny, Teresa's son. And that's all I can come up with. Who's this Dodger you mentioned? He's a snake, that's why. One of the shadiest characters in the bazaar. Come to think of it. He took an interest in Teresa's grain harvest recently. Asked a lot of questions. Never paid any mind before. Uh, I should talk to him. You'll find him at the bazaar, but watch your back. He doesn't give a rat's ass about people. Just money. What about Teresa's son? Why would he do this? Normally, I wouldn't suspect him. Nice kid. I've known him all his life. He's like a son to me. But lately, he's been quiet. Like he's got something to hide. And maybe he does. But no, Benny wouldn't have done this. It would break Teresa's heart and he knows it. And even if he had taken the flower, why? That seems to be the central question for everyone involved. Where can I find Benny? Not sure. He's been making himself pretty scarce. That said, I'm sure Teresa's got him guarding their storehouses. Make sure what meager goods they have left are safe. I'll look for him. Since you helped my husband, I'll share a secret with you. The storehouses are full of traps, so be careful. My shed has nothing of the sort, which is probably why it was so easy to steal from. And as for Benny, Teresa keeps close tabs on her son. Ask her. Can you tell me where you were the night the flower was stolen? At home with my husband. There's not much more to say. And not much more, or nothing? Nothing. I was home with my husband. End of story. Accusations are devastating enough around here. I'm ruined. And not if we find the flower and prove it was someone else. Perhaps. But in my experience, the damage has been done. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see what I can find out. I'm finished. There is no more hope. You're the one to thank for the water. Good job, kid. I don't want to marry the first girl I find. She has to have beauty, smarts, and a steady supply of water. A friend's betrayal hurts the most. <laughs>
haven't seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade. <clears throat> Rooms? Blanch the asparagus? my heart to see a treasured friend. You getting sentimental on me? I have a mission for you. You have to defeat an army of virals and then jump into fire. You jump? From how high? The what? I'm jumping into fire, aren't I? <laughs> you got me! I'll be damned. And here I was thinking you were a stiff pilgrim. What do you need? Teresa's flower was stolen, and I want to find out who did it. Teresa's flower was... What the fuck? Okay, you've got my attention. What do you know about a woman named Anna? What, the one who works for Teresa? Not all that much. Her husband sometimes sits in on our card games. He never said boo about her. Not even a few pints in. That says something right there. You know where Benny might be? Do I look like his mother? Believe me, he's on top of my where are they now list. He went down in flames in our last card game. He almost literally bet the farm. And lost. So if you're looking for that flower, it's not Teresa's or Benny's no more. It's mine. The kid owed it to me. And if it's missing, it was stolen from me. Aha. Uh -huh. So Benny's in your debt. Big time. Up to his ears, you might say. In flower. You think he stole it? Could be. He's a dumb kid who might think that will stop me from trying to collect. I need to find him then. Ask Mother Teresa. She's usually got the boy on a short leash. Except for poker nights, clearly. So now you know I have the most skin in this game. If that flower isn't found, I am the big loser. So maybe check out Teresa's storehouses. Hmm, seems like just the place a dumb kid like Benny would think he could hide. And if you do get your hands on the flower, just kindly bring it straight to me. I'll pay you handsomely for the service, of course. But it will save everyone a lot of grief and... Hey... I get my flower. We can put this behind us. My sister found some weird tapes inside an abandoned building the other day. Some kind of audio diary from people before the fall.
Oof, that floor doesn't look safe. Maybe there's another way. Ha! <laughs> gotcha. Pretty empty as warehouses go. Hey, what the fuck are you doing here? Is that you, Pilgrim? You shouldn't be here, mate. How'd you get in? You're Benny, right? We need to talk. I don't like this. Dodger sent you, did he? Tell him I'm pulling together what I owe him. I'm just... I just haven't got it yet. Hold up, Benny. So you're saying you're in debt to Dodger? Dodger hasn't sent you. No. How much do you owe him? Only you had a reason to steal the flower. You bastard! Do you think that just because you turn on the water, you got free run of the place? Tell me I'm wrong. I ain't telling you nothing. Fuck <sighs> off! Benny! Where are you, Benny?
Look, mate, I haven't done anything. God is my witness. Let me go, please. First, answer a few questions. But I want the truth. Did you steal the flower? No, I don't even know where it is. So why did you attack me? Thought you might have been one of Dodger's boys. Come to collect. I see. You were in deep with Dodger and used your mother's bountiful harvest for collateral. I was hot that night, mate. And the pot was big enough we could have bought the Jansen's fields. With the water back on and all, Mum and me would have been sitting pretty for the rest of our days. But then things got ugly and... Ain't no other way to tell it. I lost. So did Dodger take the flower? To settle up? Doubt it. Could have just made me bring it to him. And I would have. He's too lazy to do anything himself. But you know, mate, don't tell him I said that. What's the meaning of this? Stealing the flower was your job, Teresa. So you pilgrims really are crazy. He's off his nut, Mum. You shut your trap and listen, young man. I've had enough of you as well. Benny wouldn't have pulled this off on his own. He's not exactly the brightest chap. No offense, ma'am. None taken. Lump of coal for brains, that one. Mum? <sighs> Very well. I did it. But I really had no choice, Aiden. We worked for months on that crop, worked our fingers to the bone. It yielded enough to last for months. There'd be bread, enough to feed the whole bazaar. But you know what Dodger would do if he got it? Sell it back to us for triple the price. We'd end up paying for our own flower, a cruel joke. All because of a stupid card game. We'd be ruined. I couldn't allow that. I wouldn't. So, where is the flower? Under the water tower. You must understand, it can't go to Dodger. And why not? He wanted fair and square. Dodger? Fair and square? Hardly. He's a cheat. Everyone knows it. We just can't prove it. Okay, say you're right. Is there a middle ground? Can we... Give him something else instead. Someone like Dodger doesn't seem all that flexible. He's gotta be, mate. Talk to him, please. Ask him for more time. Anything. We're begging you. Uh, let me think about that. <sighs> you are our only hope. Don't get melodramatic, Benny. The Pilgrim knows what he's doing. in the bazaar? I like that stuff. Where have you been all day? I was cleaning out this one place. They're supposed to be discreet, not go so shouting in the middle of the bazaar. Don't look like they surprised seen. me. How was I supposed to know they had shears? You couldn't have screwed it up. Okay, let's make things lively. One hundred more. No freaking way, unless you're willing to cut the time by 10 seconds. Deal. Living dangerously. It was already an impossible task. Well, we'll see about that. Aiden, you find my flower yet? Yeah, that's what I'm here about. Teresa and Benny are in dire straits. Can you forgive their dad, or at least give them more time? Fuck that. How many times do I have to say I'm not running a charity? I didn't force Benny to play cards. You know, a man can't pay his debts well. <laughs> He's not a man, is he? Stupid is as stupid does. Maybe when they got nothing left but the skivvies on their butts, they'll have learned a valuable lesson. You know what, Aiden? Actually, yeah, I think I got something to help everyone. Honestly. Nah, who cares about flower? 
What am I going to be a baker all of a sudden? <laughs> I don't think so. But I do want what I'm owed. And me and Urban, we've got this bet. Wait, whoa, 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 no fair, not him. He runs on walls. Of course it's fair. There's no rule against having him get them. You pull this off, Aiden, and what Urban will have to pay me will more than cover my losses on the flower. And there'll be extra I can throw your way. Wait, what exactly are you talking about here? You see, on top of the church, there's this, uh, well, let's just call it a flag. You can't see it from the ground, but this flag, well, it's, it's not a flag. Yeah, you'll know when you see it. Urban and I made a bet that I could find someone who could nab it for us. I've been raising the stakes for years, and Urban's called me every time. But with the amount on the line now, you know it would be a sin not to give it a try. Ah, uh, I'm in no hurry. Rather, you just keep raising the stakes till it gets real juicy. What's that? <laughs> Fear suddenly got you all puckered. Nah, I, I'm just looking out for you. It'll ruin you if you lose now, being out the flower and all. Well, I'm game if he done this. The time limit's pretty fucking brutal, but, you know, I've got faith in Aiden here. So, you in? <coughs> Let's do this. Well, then let's just get to it, shall we? Three, two, one, go. Andale, Aiden. Make me proud. I wonder what the hell is going on in the central loop since PK's restricted access. Some say. Did I tell you, Urban? I told you! <laughs> Been waiting years for this. We've got a winner! The Andy challenge has been conquered. Way to go, Aiden. All right, all right. Don't get so excited. You're ugly when you gloat, you know that? So what's the deal with this flag? <laughs> it's a pair of Carl's old undies. You put Teresa and Benny's life at stake for some old underwear? This was more about the bet itself, but the Andes are symbolic. There is a great story behind them, too. No one remembers when exactly, but long ago, a wild wind blew Carl's laundry off his line, and it got stuck on the roof. Carl wanted to mount some big mission to rescue his clothes. <laughs> Can you believe that? Anyway, everyone refused, of course. No one could climb that high. Off and on, a good wind would sometimes bring down a sock, maybe a shirt. 
But Carl's undies stuck there, flying proud. Urban bet me that I would never find someone who could fetch them for us. <laughs> but I did! <laughs> so you'll cancel Teresa and Benny's debt now? Like it never existed. And you, my new friend, you saved the day. Take this with my thanks. Yeah, he won't be hassling you about your flower anymore. Mate, how'd you do it? I won a bet for him. A strange one. But now we're in your debt. We'll never be able to repay you. Then pay it forward. Start by apologizing to Anna. Yes, yes, of course. Oh, God, what have I done? I'll go right away. Maybe it's not too late to repair things. I've been such a prat. This is all my fault. Just try to keep your nose clean from now on. For your mother's sake, if not your own. I hope my mum makes up with Anna. Yeah. <laughs> 